Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing the major commercial debut record from Josiah. This one is entitled Josiah I Am. This is the debut commercial album from Josiah, the SoundCloud rapper and producer. This record was released under the Atlantic Records label, and it's his first major label project. This guy is mysterious. There's not much information on the internet that I could really find. All I know is that he's an emo rapper. He kind of fits in with that crowd of 6 9 and the other emo rappers. And with that, we should know Josiah has an aggressive approach to songwriting, which is displayed through his vivid and violent lyrics, which is really just reinforced with screaming and high energy vocals. Don't write him off as just another screaming lunatic, though. The dude has actually studied music theory and the art of performing at college. Now, taking away the screaming, which might be the hardest part of this record to digest, Simply looking at the synthesizers and lyrics, I could see some comparisons to early Tyler the Creator or posthumous XXX Tentacion. Those are certainly good comparisons to have this early in his career as a 22 year old. But with this debut, I feel like Josiah might be riding their coattails a bit too much or putting a mirror up against the wall just to see a reflection of himself. Tracks that are a little too similar to Tyler on this project include Destructo Disc. On this track, I do like the overblown synth tones, which are heavily Tyler inspired. The emo rap screams add this dissonant edge to the track that reinforce the gritty, harsh, and grating synthesizers. Unfortunately though, when Josiah injects his personal style on this song, we get the most generic by the numbers trap beat. Another track on here that is like Tyler is I'm Depressed, and this one, on the plus side, is short, and thank goodness because it's extremely painful for its purposely bombastic and overblown audio, which of course reminds me of Cherry Bomb era Tyler. That's not a good thing, by the way. Now with the other influences on this album that are hard to be ignored, XXX Tentacion is another that comes to mind on the track Heartbreak. This cut, we get an acoustic guitar that kind of leads the way a bit more basic in its playing style compared to the song When I'm Gone. And if you notice the feature on this song Heartbreak, you would see Travis Barker. He's the drummer from Blink 182. The track essentially waits for its final minute to erupt in this emo rap breakdown, which is a standard structure for artists like XXX Tentacion, at least. I remember listening to X's song last year, Staring at the Sky, and it has some of the same qualities here with Heartbreak. I find I do like the brevity on this track. I also enjoy the outbursts of raw emotion, of anger. But when it comes to the cymbal crashes, this is where I just can't help to feel that this is too demo-ish and it was just left to be unfinished. By the way, I'm almost done comparing Josiah to his contemporaries. This last person I want to talk about is 6 9 He has a feature on this album, so obviously the, the influence is there. This track, Case 19, features 6 9 and yes, it is hard to separate the art from the artist in this case where we know that he is in jail. Regardless, even just looking at 6 9s performance on here, it's pretty standard. Remember the mill. He doesn't really switch up what he has done in the past. Anyways, despite that, I think this is an exciting moment for Josiah to work with 6 9 because we can't deny it, 6 9s musical influences have rubbed off on Josiah's overall musical style, and it might just motivate him to push himself further next time. Now, where Josiah sets himself apart from his contemporaries is this odd and abnormal yet captivating opening track, Voices. We get this church or opera-like performance, not too showy or extravagant though. It is interesting to note that Josiah grew up in a choir, so that's why this is here. And this track, I love it. I think it opens up the record in the best way possible. It kind of captivates me. It compels me to listen to the rest of the album because it finishes on this doom-filled note. Also, another positive that comes out on this album is the fun and lighthearted side to Josiah with the viral single, Shenanigans. It opens with a jazzy and captivating instrumental, which is sampled from SpongeBob SquarePants. We have the skittering trap hi-hats. We have this engrossing vibe that really lasts the entire song. We also have this shouted verse from Josiah and young bands providing a bit more of the laid back verse. And overall, I like this track. It is dedicated to the recently deceased creator of SpongeBob SquarePants, Steven Hillenberg, rest in peace. Moving on from there, I love the track on this Josiah record entitled When I'm Gone. We have this sweetly played and produced acoustic guitar opening and it's really 
uh, unexpected with the production choices here because of the past two tracks on the track list. I sat through the song expecting it to be something fuzzy and jarring, uh, but it is an enjoyable song with a sugary hook, one of the best melodies on the project by far. The rest of this project, however, ranges from mediocre to bad, mostly mediocre though. The track FDD and its melody gets stale after the two minute mark. It was a smart decision for whoever put this together to keep it brief, but it could have been even shorter. Order. It kind of feels like filler on this project. It has some laid back singing. It feels like Lil Nas X got a hold of this one and just kind of ran with it. And we have a producer from Lil Nas X's EP, I believe. Bake Fried Beans is another song on this album that ramps up the energy with some scream rap. I'm not the biggest fan of the aggressive and vivid images. I could really go without them. But there is a bright spot to this track during the final 15 seconds. I think it goes in this interesting sonic direction. I just would have loved to see this song a bit longer. Cyber is another feature on this album with the song You Can't Take Me. This is really the last bad song on the album before it wraps up, just like the song I'm Depressed and to a lesser extent, Heartbreak. This is just extremely lo-fi and hard to sit through. The record quickly closes with the track Neon Rainbows, which kind of feels like a tagged on lacking full resolution kind of song. Overall, Josiah's debut is an unpredictable ride. It throws one surprise after another, keeps me compelled to listen the entire way through, which is a major positive. However, that could also be the negative for someone else's perspective, so I have to appreciate the fine balance between new material and something that is repetitious. Elsewhere on this album, I find the features to be hit or miss. 6 9 sounds like he's phoning it in. Young Bands, however, offers a decent and softer counterpoint to Josiah. And Travis Barker, he's a bit of a, a novelty or a waste when his drums are produced in a bit of a disgusting fashion. But hey, it's better than him sounding characteristically Blink-182 on a Machine Gun Kelly single. Wrapping up my thoughts on this album though, some songs really just feel like demo quality. I'm feeling a 5 out of 10. I cherry picked a few songs I like from here. Honestly, I'm surprised I enjoyed it more than I thought I would, but by no means is this album good or great by any stretch of the imagination. Some tropes in the emo rap scene just aren't usually for me, and uh, this one is incredibly short, just like most of them tend to be. Regardless, there is room for improvement. I do want to see the positives moving forward for Josiah. That's the review for the new Josiah album. Sound off down below in the comments. Let me know what you think of this music. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a rockin' day.